Hi guys, DoubleDirtsYZ, and today we are playing Blood and Truth. I've been, I've been wanting to do this game for quite some time, I just never had a chance to really do it. Uh, it came out back in, I think it was like the beginning of 2019, and uh, essentially it's kind of like a, a uh, spec up spy-esque type game, like a, a little bit like James Bond. Um, but a little bit more action-y to that extent. And in some ways this was kind of this was kind of like an improvement over that short game, uh, the London Heist, if you remember that on the uh, on the uh, PlayStation VR Worlds, that, that small demo game filled with those mini games. So I mean this is kind of more an extension of that somewhat. Or at least they've, they've kind of based this game off of it. So, and of course I'll be using motion controllers, because why not? Add more to the mix. <laughs> Grant out. Probably need to calibrate everything, because I have no idea. Um, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to get anything here. Position, size, subtitles. Example here, so I don't know what's medium or small or large. <laughs> I'll just keep it medium. Comfort mode. I'll keep that off. I kind of want the full experience. All right. So I'm hoping I have the camera set up right. Um, yeah, granted, I think from what I've heard, they recommend putting the camera slightly above where you're actually sitting or standing. As a, I, I mean, one thing I would say right off the bat is this game is pretty interesting. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can't play with a regular controller or you can play with motion controllers. I prefer for the motion controllers because it's just more uh, hands-on and more interactive for that way. <laughs> Uh, but granted, tracking-wise, it's not as great, unfortunately. I mean, then again, I'm, I'm using old technology here. I'm using PlayStation Move controllers from, like, 2011, so... Or, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's been quite some time, I'm just saying. So, uh... I think everybody's fine. Luckily, my hands are in the right position. That's good. <laughs> I don't know. It was just strange with Five Nights at Freddy's. Your hand position was always at a weird... It was, a, it was always weirdly reverse. I, I, I never get why. I, I never get why your hands were always reversed every time you start up the game. So I always get a little confused as to where my hands are at. Get my hands together here. Sorry. <laughs> and of course, I have to have the microphone down below me. So sorry if quality-wise isn't that great either. Because I had to turn off the, some of the filters just to humor, humor, <laughs> just to hear myself. I'm hoping it can pick up everything. Where do I want my ammo pack? Let's try here. Side, side on holster. Try like. I, mean, I could probably adjust as much as I want, really, but. Uh, I don't know, let's go for... I guess that works. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I guess if I need to readjust, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, of course, I can clear save data, which I have no idea why the world would I want to do that. Um, <laughs> all right. New game plus, play through the story again from the start, but with your unlocked weapons, mods, and skins available. Yeah, I guess that's why they gave you the option to clear your save data if you wanted to start from scratch, but eh, that'd be kind of not as fun. Alright. Uh, I know for one of the updates, they just recently, well, not recent, but what they added back in like. I think it was like early this year, early 2020, or I think it was early 2020, but I know they added a, uh, a hard difficulty, <laughs> which I remember that was one of the trophies I had to do, beat the game on hard mode, which wasn't as fun. Cinematic is pretty much easy. An easier mode where you have higher health and lesser laser sighted weapons, but some trophies cannot be achieved. Normal, all trophies are achievable, but you... But have, you have normal level health and have to earn all the weapon mods. Yeah. <laughs> I did do one hard. I'm just gonna stick with medium, normal difficulty. Yes, let's confirm it. Special handling. Approach with extra something. Subject is highly dangerous. It's kind of hard to read this a little bit here. Ryan Marks. It's not looking good, is it? I've had better days. Yeah. I so see. are you. Name's Carson, but we'll get to that. You and I are on the same side, by the way. Right. But don't I get a lawyer? You don't need a lawyer. But you do need my help. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> you seem to have forgotten in all this excitement that you were in some serious shit. Look around you, Ryan. This is it. This is the rest of your life, sitting in a fucking room. Come on, play it out. You're facing multiple life sentences. Terrorism, conspiracy, more murders than we could even count. <laughs> so you don't want to talk? Nah. Okay. Let me tell you what I know. Ryan Marks. SAS Nomad Squad. Zero, this is Nomad 2-1. I've reached the compound. Going in. Over. Nomad 2-1, this is Zero. Negative. Wait for close air support. Over. Zero, I'm the one on the ground. I'm telling you, we need to extract now. Negative. Hold position. Over. Took a few seconds. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Just left my hands are so squishy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Sorry about the jitteriness on this. I, I don't know if it's again. I don't know if it's the tracking on the the game itself, the camera, or it could be it could be these controllers for all I know. I mean, I've, again, I've had these controllers. Uh, I've had these controllers for a good. Nine years at this point, so I prefer the I prefer the PS3 version of the move controllers over the PS4 because weirdly PS3 moves are compatible with PS3 and PS4, while the PS4 versions are you can only use them on the PS4. I don't understand that. I, I really don't understand that. And, and, I mean, there's nothing really too different about them either. I mean, it's not better tracking or anything. It's just 
the only thing different is just it has uh, a different charge port. That's it. <laughs> Nothing's really different. Anyway, Gaiden's mission started. But you gotta love the environment, though. <laughs> Alright. Press the home button. Press the move button while looking at the waypoint. Yeah, you can only move forward in this game. You can never move back. Because, I mean, obviously, limitations. I mean, there's no... There's no... Well, the, you can't track looking backwards. There's just no way to actually go backwards with these. Not really. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not like you're using an Oculus or... A, Weapon check. Or like an HTC Vive or mixed reality or whatever. Take the weapon from the hip holster. Weapon good. Okay. Ammo pouch. Ammo good. Okay. Hold down start button to recenter. Recenter. Self. <laughs> yeah, so I guess good thing with these uh, upgrades, I did make a burger. Just grab the ladder. <laughs> yeah, good thing I already upgraded these weapons that have, that have sights on them. I mean, if I was doing something easy or cinematic, I could probably uh, have a laser sight, which would have been a lot easier. Yeah, this will come in handy. All right. I think your handgun does have infinite ammo, but every other weapon has a limited amount. Steady my shot here. <laughs> yeah, you can actually hold. You can steady your shot if you want. Helps with recoil. He's come for him. Down. Get some more ammo. <laughs> Holster weapon, fine. Oops. Secret agent. <laughs> he 
keep fucking with my mind. This place plays tricks on you. here <laughs> surprisingly where's the rest of your genius place well, hopefully <laughs> I told you go then doors reinforced looks like I'm going in loud preparing breach prime the charge Skid marks. I thought I was gonna have to rescue myself. Oh, fair enough. I'll be off then, shall I? <laughs> you fucker, come on. Get these up. <laughs> okay. Give me a combat estimation. Root in. I had eyes on seven to ten x-rays with longs and five x-rays with shorts. Best estimate. Okay, go. Comms check. Roger that. Weapon check. Ammo good. Weapon good. Safety off? Always. Firm. Move. Firm. Move. Ugh, all right. I love how you can actually dual with weapons in this. It's gonna be a fucking hornet's nest out there, mate. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Go. Quick, let's get out of here. <laughs> That's it, get in. Get in. Go. Extraction at zero six nine seven six one two one at zero nine hundred hours. 
gotta love the slow mo matrix. <laughs> Hello, Zero. This is Nomad 2 1. Message over. Nomad 2 1. This is Zero. Send message over. Zero. Nomad 2 1. The cat is in the cradle. Over. Nomad 2 1 0. Roger. Acknowledge. Send the big man our regards. Over. Roger that. Over. He messes me. <laughs> Just being polite, mate. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> All call signs, this is Zero. We have an urgent signal from home. Nomad 2-1, report to HQ-3-0. On return to the fob. Over. Roger that. Out. Uh, call back to base. That doesn't sound good, does it? No. Pretty intense. <laughs> Ryan, have a seat. Got some bad news, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, your dad died. Heart attack. Over really quickly. There's nothing anyone could have done. I'm really sorry, mate. Flight's arranged, so get your bags packed. You're going back to London. London streets, abundant greets. Buckle up, cause you got front row seats. Knuckle dusters just slump these cheeks. Round here, man not run from police. Don't get caught slipping in. London, don't forget, blood is thicker than water's dripping in. <laughs> Gotta love this rap. You should say the same if you want to see the visual. Because you don't know if these people are just trying to befriend you. Or if they're your enemies and they're trying to end you. So pay close attention to the messages they send you. You've been away for a little while. Now welcome back. What? <laughs> A new car. Yeah. Got it a couple of months back. It's all right there. Yeah. yeah, it's very subtle. Fuck off. <laughs> You're still wearing that horrible ring. Yeah, of course. Where's yours? Oh, I lost it. Ooh, mum's not gonna be happy with you. Oh, you'll never guess who I saw last week. Who? Gary Moss. <laughs> Gary with a small head. <laughs> Even now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to get a right up about it. <laughs> In fairness, you did say it looked like a great with a face. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what the fuck is that? I quit smoking. And carbs. Carbs? Yeah, do you know what apple was basically one big carb? <laughs> so I've given up fruit. Well, what about beer? Beer's not fruit, it's grain. <laughs> yeah, try it. Sure. Apple. Mm. Yeah. I've got to get my fruit somewhere, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I don't know that pretty considered fruit, but... Yeah, you know me. And how's mum doing? She just lost her husband. How do you think she's doing? Yeah. Okay. It was fucking suck, mate. Don't mean it's hit her yet. I don't think it's any of us. He was no angel, but... I thought he'd make it through to the end. No one big enough to take him on. Things were running smoothly. Still, better than a 
bully in the head, I suppose. Heart attack doesn't sound too fun. Yeah. He's probably right. Goes to show, though, doesn't it? So what? Something profound. <laughs> good to see you, man. Yeah. Good to see you too. Great. <laughs> right then. Get this over with. Yeah. You ready? No. Yeah. <laughs> Come on then. All right. Blood and truth. <laughs> I won't ask you about the funeral. We're no stranger to those. I just want to know. What happened afterwards? It's easy to say a guy comes back from the army. Goes nuts, right? Seen too much, can't handle it, case closed. But we both know that's bullshit. I just want to know what went down, man. What's your story? You should write a book. My life is a massive dickhead. I might give you a chapter, if you would tell me something. Okay, I'll tell you something. Go fuck yourself. I mean, who's in charge here? <laughs> I'll speak to them. Brian, I am ex-Delta. We both know the same things. I'm here to help. You need to help me. Ah, uh, ex-Delta does pop psychology. You gonna ask me what I dreamt about last night? Sure. What'd you dream about last night, Ryan? Well, I was doing a speech naked, then all my teeth fell out. What do you think that means? This is a conversation. I'm not a cop. I'm not here to go after your family business. In fact, I don't give a shit about any of that. I know you're not a cop, because you've got CIA written all over you. Delta, really? Come on. Just a fucking desk jockey. Oh, is that what you think? Yeah, it is. Intel, analysis, mission reports will only take you so far. But if you want the reality of a tactical situation, you need to be on the ground. We both know that. Ground truth. Exactly. How many made it from your unit selection? Five. Plus you? Including me. They don't always take the best guy. But they always take the right guy. Wow. Was there a cliche to? I failed mine. Dog gave my homework. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Delta Force. You've convinced me. We can talk. Okay. Good. So I cuts between the past and the present. Oh, it's good to have you back. How are you? Terrible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know. Wonderful service. Flowers were lovely. Your dad would have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would. Mum, it might be a good time to start thinking about yourself. Get out of this. You could go on a cruise, get a caravan. <laughs> caravan? I can't just leave. People counting on me. What about Nick and Michelle? Mum, Nick's 34 years old. I think he'll be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm serious. Maybe you should step away. Dad wouldn't want you worrying about the business. You know what your dad would have wanted? Everyone to get out so he could watch the snooker. <laughs> he was so proud of you. You know that, don't you? 
Oh, no. God, you look just like him. He wasn't much younger than you when we met. When was that? 1937. <laughs> he was a lot funnier than you, though. <laughs> going oh, snap. Stay behind me. Get in! They're all over us. Put the weapons down. Now! Oh, fuck. Couldn't do, she says. Don't move. Listen, love. You don't know who the fuck you're dealing with. Just put the gun on. Oh, snap. <laughs> Okay, it's clear. He moved. <laughs> and do you know I am? <laughs> yeah, of course you do. For those of you that don't, my name is Anthony Sharp. I'm a businessman. And I'm all good businessmen. I like to seek out new opportunities. For fuck's sake. I've just buried my husband. Yeah, I know. And it's a terrible thing. But like I said, new opportunities. The thing is, it's very difficult getting you all together. And my offer is for the whole family. Yeah, can we hurry this up, Tony? I've got a date tonight. You open your fucking mouth again! And I'm going to put a bullet through her face. What is it you want? What do I want? Your operation. All of it. Networks, assets. Oh, come on. I don't need to tell you how this works. You've done it plenty of times yourselves. You just keep on doing what you're doing. Think of it as a merger. Apart from you. You can fuck off back to the army. And I know what you're thinking. You're tempted to push back, but I strongly advise against that. I don't want this to be a hostile takeover. I'm sure you don't. I've got a lot of respect for you, Anne. You're a clever woman. You would do the right thing. All right. Well, I think I'm just about done here. This is my brother, Keach. He He's the absolute best with numbers. And he's going to make sure that this transition runs smoothly. Right. I need ledgers, receipts, contact books, diaries, you name it. I want to know when you last saw your fucking proctologist. Come on. Chop, chop. Someone clear that up. The Sharp Brothers. They've done well for themselves. I get why they want your family business. I mean, it's the best network in Europe, but... It's an area they have zero expertise in. Do you have a history with Tony? Yeah. We knew him. He had his thing, we had ours. But he's never a problem. So why now? He saw an opportunity. An opportunity mm. on the day of your dad's funeral. That guy is a total asshole. We've done worse. Mm. You're right. We have. That seemed too much of a coincidence. Oh. <laughs> there was one thing we've all been wondering. What's that? How the fuck did you get out of there? <laughs> How many are there? Six? Maybe eight? I tell you what, this accountancy lark is hard fucking going. Oh, what a prick. I'm gonna do him. Nick. Might try some of this scotch. Celebrate our new union. <laughs> Who's gonna pour it for me? How about 
One of the Marx brothers. Here. Which one's Groucho? <laughs> now that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Did you hear that rhyme? Our surname's Marx, and we're brothers. <laughs> so that makes us the Marx brothers. <laughs> Did you just think of that, kid? <laughs> or you, Annie. Go on. Have a little drink with me. <laughs> we could do shots. Safety's on. Hey? No, it ain't. Push. <laughs> <laughs> me in action. Talk about a well oiled machine. That's some serious gangster shit right there, kid. So, what comes next? What would you have done? I would retrench, talk to my people, make sure I could trust them. Gather resources, head somewhere to plan the counterattack. Somewhere safe. That's some gangster shit of your own there, Carson. I thought we'd never shut up. Right, we need to get out. Fire escape. Can't believe he fell for the safety, the gun safety <laughs> trick. <laughs> Nothing? Okay, keep me updated. Sharp's got to be somewhere. Still no sign then. Why should we have that awful headset? He's starting a cab for them or something. Dick. <laughs> we got? Tony's been approaching some of our people. Most of them just told him to fuck off. Someone's helped him. Find out who. Safe houses? All good. Warehouse is secure. Scott's on his way to the courtyard now. He'll take care of the rest of it. And Clint. Someone needs to tell Sarah and the kids. We're on it. Make sure they're looked after. That American bird. What do we know? She's military. Professional. No wonder you shit yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. No one knows anything about her. It's weird. You can't... Hold on. Go ahead. We need to talk about what we do next. We give him a slap in terms of fucking behave. He's just trying it on because Dad's gone. No, he's gone way too far for that. He's not going to start an all-out war. He's not big enough. Well, he clearly thinks he is big enough. We need to push back hard or we're finished. Tony's got to go. Got it. Thanks. We know where Tony's going to be tonight. Private party at his casino. Great, he might as well be on fucking Mars. Yeah, he'll be surrounded by his best people. Then the last thing he'll expect is me turning up. No way, Ryan. You are keeping well out of this. It could work. No, it's madness. Could you do it? I can do it. Did you hear what I just said? You are not getting involved. But I'm already involved. I could be in and out of there before anyone knows what's happened. I deal with situations and people a lot heavier than Tony Sharp. Ryan's right. What the fuck are you thinking? Tony won't stop here. We know that. Mum, Ryan's trained for this. Anyone else, you wouldn't think twice. But it isn't anyone else, is it, Nicholas? It's your brother. Okay, okay, fine. At least we know where Tony will be tonight. We can keep an eye on where he goes afterwards and then pick our moment. Why risk waiting? If we've got a chance to take him down, we should do it. All right. But the first sign of trouble, Ryan, we get you out of there. Of course. What weapons we got? Let's have a look. Hopefully some good ones. Follow me. Dad's first safe house. <sighs> Haven't been in here since I was a kid. Didn't think we need this place again. You'll protect it, though. Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Let's go and shoot some guns. <laughs> For emergencies. <laughs> PlayStation VR, <laughs> right there. Oh, I got different flavors too. <laughs> Tiramisu, apple pie, prawn chicken, strawberry, methyl cherry. Okay. That's some weird stuff here.
Yeah, of course, this game did have a lot of collectibles to get. <laughs> I think this is broken. <laughs> Pistols, that millimeter got the revolver. Probably go with something stealth, I guess. Except machine gun. Okay, got the rifle, got the combat shotgun. Sawed off shotguns, an assault rifle. I got a minigun. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've. I think I've only used that minigun once. Or maybe. How, I don't even remember ever using the minigun. Grenade launcher. Alright. Crafting. So, put the laser sight, put that on there, and Gonna need to stay in radio contact. I'll go and find you an earpiece. When you're ready, head for the casino. I'll see you there. I think I'm gonna need some explosives. I'll see what I can do. Put this side for this one. That sight. Yeah, makes it, I guess it makes it so much easier with that laser sight. Yeah, and these things you have to actually unlock. Base design. Oh, <laughs> I have a little too much fun just painting here. <laughs> Why not add the grenade launcher attachment to my rifle? <laughs> Of course, you get a little bit of practice if you want. <laughs> it's just kind of fun just goofing around, honestly. Right. We're inside. This place is crawling with Tony's dodgy mates. Okay, in and out as fast as we can. Alright, but I think I'm gonna probably call it actually. <laughs> I think I must have been doing this for a little 
almost close to an hour at this point, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's starting to come back to me. It's kind of maneuvering my way through this. But, uh, we'll see if we can find... See if we can find Tony Sharp. If he's there. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is Double Hunter XYZ. And until next time.